Hello, this is Bad Assassin 12, and today we are going to be working on the puzzle pyramid that I've been working on for quite some time. I've spent about like 60 hours into this map, and most of you have probably already seen the Let's Play, or the overview, or maybe the trailer. Most likely you've seen the trailer. And this is basically what we're going to be working on. I've, I've spent close to like 80 hours in this so far. I don't know why I'm spending so much time, but I'm just really passionate about this thing for some reason. Because a lot of people have been liking it, or at least all the people that have been testing it. So, right now it's at version 0 0.9, and there's about two and a half hours of gameplay to it, on average, of all the testers that have tested it. Their average has been about two and a half hours. So, we're going to be working on version the final version, version 1.0, which... I was hoping that the pyramid would be completely filled to the top with puzzles, but I don't see how that's going to happen because I do have a lot of space left, and it already takes a ton of time to complete. And if I do make this too long, I think people might get bored of it. So, I am I think I'm pretty close to done. So, this is where I left off. And this is version one, uh, 0 0.9, and right now I'm going to be making the Hall of the Dead which is going to involve a lot of combat, that's why I have this chest right here. And I'm also going to be working on possibly a treasure room, but I usually take a ton of time working on stuff, so I most likely won't get to that. So, um, basically first before I start building, I want to go over an overview of what I've done since you guys, since my last video on the pyramid. The latest video, I believe, that I posted was the Let's Play, which you could see that the guys got past the spider sack thingy, and then they got into this room that had no roof on it, and it just had some red sun under it. Well, that's been finished, and I also added a jumping puzzle over here involving hatches, a water slide, a riddle, that's really cool. Um, it involves going to, to a previous location that you've already been to, and that's really cool. And then there's a waterfall, little, I don't know, agility puzzle or something like that, and then you go through this tunnel. And then there's, in from this point on, from the waterfall on, it gets really ancient. Like, really, it feels like you're really deep into the uh, pyramid. So, like, everything before was made out of this material, this, what is it called? Stone bricks material, and it didn't look that pyramid. It didn't look like a pyramid too much. But now all that's changing uh, slowly, and it just you really feels like you're in a pyramid environment. Like, here. I'll give you a quick example. This is a pressure plate that when you step on it, it pops out a zombie out of the top of the altar. So, yeah. So, I've added this, these little tunnels, and they go a long way. It's like, it's got a little bit of turns, but the turns only go for about 10 feet or 10 meters or whatever it is. So, yeah, you can't really get lost in this place. But there's a puzzle right here that most people don't see how to beat it. I'm not going to go over that right now because I want you guys to experience it for yourself. Once you're done with that, I need to actually place something here, because when those doors open, you can see the light. Okay, so, you go down this really long hallway. I mean, it's really long. Well, it's not too long, but it's really long for a hallway. I'm just going to say that. And then you take a left here, and then you do this jumping puzzle that has this little, that has water under it, that way you don't die. There's also a secret chest around here, I'm not going to tell you where that is. You beat that, and you go up this passageway up into the Inception Pyramid is what I like to call it because it's a pyramid within a pyramid and it looks so cool I'm really impressed and it was only made possible through the introdu introduction of the upside down half slabs like this see so you, you can actually have two tall rooms inside pyramid that are made out of two block tall uh, blocks two by two blocks two by two by two to be correct actually so that's pretty much it, except for a little water maze down here involving boats. And then after that, this water maze right here, you drive your boat down here, that boat breaks. You use the materials that you get from the broken boat to finish a puzzle. And then we get over to here, which is the last save point that I've made so far. It's just a little save room that I haven't added chests to yet. But what it, what this thing right here does is it breaks an experience. Uh, packet of experience, I don't remember what they're called, and then it follows you, and then you get experience at the end. So, since experience basically follows you, it will 
basically motion track you. It's like a connect in Minecraft. Uh, so it opens up a pathway under you and you can just cross by crouch walking. Alright, so now I'm going to get to the point and start building, because that's what you guys came here for. So, I've, I've already built a little bit on the hallway, but uh, I've still got a lot to go on this hallway. I need to get my torches, that's what I need to get right now. Because I've been starting to use a lot more redstone torch lighting, because it's a lot more dull and a lot more spooky. Basically what this hallway is going to be, is it's going to be... Uh, just a long hallway. It's gonna have a lot, a few turns, and then there's gonna be rooms on every side. Uh, there's gonna be tons of rooms, and they're just gonna have maybe some chests in there. But some of them are gonna be puzzles that you need to complete to get through. I don't think I'm gonna be making any of the puzzle parts yet. I'm just gonna be probably making the actual environment. So I'm just gonna make extend this hallway down, and when I'm done with that, I will resume. Alright, so I've completed the hallway, well up to where I think I need to bring it, and I want to talk to you guys about what I've basically done since, like, the update. Not, I'm not going to re-explain everything I just did, I'm just going to basically tell what I had to go through. Well, when 1.2 came out, uh, it allowed vines to be climbable, which was a huge obstacle for me to overcome, and I haven't even fully overcome it yet. Well, before the update... My pyramid was full of vines. I mean, like, there wasn't... You couldn't find a wall that didn't have a vine on it. Um, so, basically, that rendered a whole bunch of puzzles useless. And, basically, just made it to where you could jump through any jumping puzzle you wanted to. Or just climb through any puzzle. So, yeah, I had to go in and remove every single vine hand by hand, and not activate any plates. Because this pyramid is a pain in the ass to uh, reset. Look at all that. That's just too much redstone to deal with. I even forgot how some of it works. I could probably go in and relearn it, but... Yeah, I don't feel like having to reset everything. That's why I have to back up every single time that we do a testing. Which is a lot. So if you want to test, just log into Minecraft forums. And I guess follow Bad Assassin. That's my name on the Minecraft forums. And you might get to test if you're if you act soon enough because that usually fills up and well my servers usually fill up in like two minutes after I post so yeah and I only run the server usually whenever I'm doing testings if not we're just blowing crap up because that's what I like to do I like to host servers where you just do whatever you want it's creative everyone's off it's really fun and everyone loves it so yeah. Right now, I'm just building little side doors for the rooms. And that is going to... These rooms are going to have zombies probably pouring out of them when you walk by. And some of them you can go in. Some, some of them you can go in. Some of them are just going to be blocked off for scenery. Alright, and... Oh, I think that looks good. Now I'm going to build rooms, and I'm probably not going to talk for most of it, but I th I'm pretty sure you guys like to watch build, watch, watch me build. So I'm going to not end the video here and just continue to build. Or not pause the video here. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. There we go. I like to make everything symmetrical when I build. There we go. It's a pretty decent sized room. Could be a little bit bigger. I want to build a puzzle where... Okay, if you've watched my Let's Play, there's tons of puzzles where everyone has to stand, at the plate, stand on a plate at the same time. I'm going to make a puzzle where there's four plates and you have to lead a zombie onto a plate while the other people stand on them. That way you can activate the trigger and open the door or whatever it's going to do. I'm not sure yet, but I know I want to do that because that sounds cool. And 
One thing I'd like to mention is that I don't use world edit. As you can see, I actually did use world edit in the beginning of making my pyramid, but that was just to level out land and terraform and whatnot. But I don't use world edit while making the pyramids. Every every brick you see is laid by hand. And that makes the process a lot slower. Also, I don't like to work with other people. So don't ask if you can help, because I have a vision of how I want this to turn out, and I'd like to keep it that way. Because I can't usually trust other people into making it look exactly the way I like. Because I'm just gonna, if I let someone work on it, I'm just gonna end up tweaking it anyways. So that's why I work on it by myself. Because I know how everything's gonna work out in the end. Work out in the end. Alright, this room is getting really dark, and I need to put some torches up. There we go. And we have one room complete. Uh, let me see if my... Yeah, I closed my server. Okay. I was just checking. Because I was going to be doing a server test. But I think I've done plenty of those at the moment. Or at the time. Of 1.9. And I just need to get my butt right on one the final version being released. So I don't think I'm going to be doing many testings until I finally release the full version for available to download. And when that is available, I think I'm going to post a link on every single one of my videos involving the pyramid. So you can just check those out. Not anytime soon, probably like a, two weeks it'll be done. I do work really fast, but not that fast. It's not going to be done in like three days. Because I've been working on fixing bugs, because every time I do test, there's always one little thing, and that thing changes every single time. Be it, like, a secret room that I didn't stock up, sometimes it's, uh, just traps not working. Like, there's this one still that I haven't hammered out yet. In the very beginning of the pyramid, there are these three dispensers, and the middle one doesn't work. I don't know why. I think it's just Jeb's fault. I'm just gonna blame it on Jeb now that Jeb, that Notch doesn't do it anymore. But yeah, I think it's his fault. <laughs> no offense, Jeb. But redstone could be a little bit better. I haven't experienced any fatal bugs, just little minor ones. Like, there's a wave machine over there involving the waterfall, and if you... Well, no, it just does it by itself. The waterfall will just stop by itself. Well, not stop, but, like, it's a wave machine on top of the waterfall that makes the current flow and stop and then flow, and then all of a sudden it'll just continuously flow. And I don't know why it does that. It just all of a sudden starts doing that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and build the other two rooms and stop the video here and I will resume when I'm done with that. Okay guys, I just finished building the other two rooms that I said I was going to build and I also extended the hallway just a little bit, just a little bit out here to the left because I'm gonna hook it around and extend it a little bit because I'm gonna make this a really long hallway. Well while I was building I was thinking how I could reward you guys for playing the map and what I was thinking was that the winner of this contest that I'm gonna hold gets to build a puzzle inside the pyramid, which is actually going to be probably around here, because there's tons of space here for you to do whatever you want. So, what I'm going to do is at the end of this, uh, the hallway of the dead, I'm going to have a tunnel that's going to come down here, and then it's going to stop here, and there's going to be a room here. And then it's going to connect to another tunnel, and go to whatever's next, and then eventually go to the treasure room. So, one of the last puzzles that the players will experience is one of the player-built puzzles built by the first people to build a Let's Play. And the people... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. The contest will be whoever makes a Let's Play of this map first without any visible signs of cheating. And I will be able to tell because I made this map and I know what, can, what happens when you cheat in this map. So whoever makes a... Let's play of no cheating first, and they have to beat the map as well. We'll get to build a puzzle inside the pyramid, and it will also have the group's name signed. But it does also have to be a group puzzle because the entire group gets to work on the puzzle. So, yeah. It's a really good reason to want to 
play the map, beat it, post a let's play, hopefully get it noticed. And that shouldn't be the main reason for you trying to play this map. Main reason should be because, let's face it, this is a pretty awesome map. And so, you guys are just going to have to play it for yourselves. For yourselves. Or just watch some of the let's plays that are going to be coming in. Like Rapid Fire, hopefully. If this map is enjoyed by enough people. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And we're going to continue part two with probably building the inside of the rooms, making some redstone puzzles and whatnot. I will see you later.